Okay, I'm getting ready to feed the compost bin. I think I showed yesterday uh, myself putting some uh, apples in the uh, in the bin, and today I'm doing uh, some grass clippings. Now, usually, uh, I'd say for about the last four or five years, I've primarily mulched my grass, uh, basically just let the clippings go back into the grass, and it's really uh, done a great job of uh, providing nutrients to the grass. Uh, but now, since I'm about to uh, feed the reactor here, and you can see all these clippings here in my Troy built bag, um, I've captured it up. Okay. So we'll take this off. Flip that back. And take this out of here. And as you can see, there's uh, a lot of apples down there and a lot of flies. So I'm just going to take this uh, grass and dump it into the bin. Let's see if I can do that one handed without making too big of a mess. Watch this fell off. And then it goes. the empty Troy built bag. There's my watch. And there's the grass clippings from uh, my first round of grass cutting. And I could probably get maybe another bag or bag and a half worth in there uncompressed. If I push it down and squeeze it down, I can definitely get about uh, two or three in there. So I'm just going to uh, return the cutting. And there's my Troy built. And uh, Fill this sucker on up. Okay, so now I have about uh, three bags worth of grass clippings in the uh, reactor. And what I'm going to do now is just add some water to it. And I'm just going to pour in approximately one gallon worth just to get it nice and saturated. Not really saturated, but just uh, nice and soaked, I guess very wet. This will eventually work its way down um, toward the bottom. Okay. And since this is the bag that I use to actually collect the trash in and I have it sealed on one side basically I took the bag inverted it such that the grass clippings could fall into there and basically just allowed it to uh, fall in and as you can see on this side it's pretty tight down in there because the bag was actually below the level of the uh, the rim here and so there's a lot of grass on this side and now I'm just going to push this down and this will sort of act as uh, an air seal. It may not be 100%. Uh, I don't think it was my watch again. I think I'm going to need a new brand for that watch. It's, it may not be 100% airtight, but it does restrict the amount of air that can get down into there, and that's the uh, the basis of any anaerobic process. It doesn't necessarily have to be 100%. Uh, anoxic I guess or without air but uh, you know you just make it as tight as you can and now I'm just going to add this bag on top 
to further increase or decrease the amount of air that can get down into there. So this is going to act as a secondary air shield as well. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. All right. And here goes the lid. Essentially just holding the uh, second bag in place. And there you are. This is the uh, startup of another round of uh, anaerobic composting. And in a couple weeks, I'll um, come back and add another bag or two of uh, clippings to this because in that time it will compress down far enough where I can get another bag or two of uh, clippings in there. So I've done it before and uh, hopefully it'll be as successful this time as it was the last time. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.